Hi, Robert. Yeah, hi, Good David. To see you. Yeah, nice to see you again. What do you think are the challenges that the industry will see in the next uh, 10 years from now? The traditional players, which call themselves asset light, actually, which is asset free, they will struggle to survive. They need to find their place on the market. In ground transportation, which is a very heterogeneous market, uh, we will see a change from using the forwarder as a middleman for getting our demand on the market and then bridging it to the trucker. Mm -hmm. It will be much more via digital marketplaces what you're offering. I think that as a digital freight forwarder, in addition to um, being able to cut the middleman by using technology to digitalize the process, I think we're also able to uh, bring a lot of uh, optimization mm -hmm. and automation. What I mean with optimization is increasing, for example, the, the load capacity mm -hmm. uh, or and load efficiency of trucks mm -hmm. by using, let's say, technology to combine loads in a more efficient way. I think uh, also on the pricing side, mm -hmm. um, we can use technology in a very smart way to really understand how to maximize mm -hmm. um, uh, the output for, for shippers, reducing mm -hmm. the cost and the marginality for us. And I think that another very exciting space uh, the, where digital players or digital forwarders are going into is offering also services mm -hmm. to the carriers, to this fragmented market. I'm thinking here uh, of f things from fuel cards to invoice factoring, uh, credit lines. But the thing that excites me more is uh, offering them a transportation management system, a very basic TMS that um, is uh, designed for their needs so they can move from mm -hmm. pen and paper to digital processes. I believe this is the right way what you're doing addressing the carriers, which means the truckers, yeah. in order to offer them additional services and an, and an additional benefit, benefit. Because typically, the forwarder is not doing that. Mm -hmm. The relationship between the forwarder and the carrier is a complicated one. Um, as you are bringing additional services as an advantage to the carrier, this is a kind of loyal, loyalty pro program. And I think that will pay off. One of our values at Sender is treat carriers like kings. And we really uh, understand now the importance of this, mm -hmm. um, simply because uh, we see that capacity is becoming more and more difficult to source as we scale. Mm -hmm. Therefore, seeing carriers as partner, mm -hmm. as uh, companies that we work uh, in the long term mm -hmm. and uh, cooperate not only on the pure transport mm -hmm. front, but also on mm -hmm. services, on technology side, I think uh, are all aspects that will allow us to lock in mm -hmm. more capacity and then use yeah. this capacity to serve customers at the Siemens. Mm -hmm.